Hi Cancer! Welcome to your general love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Cancer, this is a collective love message for your sign. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see with whom we are connecting today for Cancer, please. We have the Fool. You might be dealing with Aries Aquarius energy. We have with this card, Cancer. Okay. What else we have for Cancer, please? We have a Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. We have a Seven of seven of wands and hierophant okay might be dealing with taurus okay we have a three of cups we have a nine of wands We have a side message here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a King of Pentacles. Let me take a look at this Libra. Oh, you might be dealing with Libra. <laughs> Cancer. So we have King of Pentacles. We have a Ten of Cups. We have a Six of Pentacles. We have uh, the death card, we have a nine of wands, and we have a knight of wands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you might be dealing with Scorpio with this side message, and this is what I am getting. This is a very non committal energy. This person here is showing up a bit of an immature kind of vibe, it's attached to the knight of wands. This is someone who has strong defense mechanism, and this is what I'm seeing here. So the side, and but they're giving me the reason why. The side messages actually are quite quite important when we do readings, especially love readings, because most of the time they kind of spirit wants to give a context <laughs> to the situation. This is someone who was involved in a certain connection, and essentially something here ended with the death card. Right, so they relationship ended, and with the nine of wands, now they kind of like you know this is a wounded warrior card. This person, uh, they've been they've been hurt, and now they are embodying this energy of knight of wands, non-committal, immature, a bit of a player energy, childish energy because of a major. Uh, ending here when it comes to a particular connection that they were involved and that was with the king of pentacles they i feel that and the ten of cups this is someone who might even been married before or they were in a very stable and long-term commitment but things didn't work out here and that's what i'm getting also with these cards we'll talk about those cards in a moment in a second could you please show us more we have an Ace of Cups for Cancer. Yeah, you might be dealing with Libra actually. One more please for this person that Cancer is connecting with. We have a King of Wands and a Two of Swords. Okay. So, in Cancer, you might be dealing with Taurus. I have Aquarius, Aries energy. I also have Sagittarius, Leo, strong Aries actually energy as well with this King of Wands. We have an Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. 
so we have the four to the nine of pentacles we are connecting here with someone who who has very strong um, um, sense of uh, of independence this is very independent energy with the seven of wands uh, this person it's like they have very strong defense mechanism when it comes to uh, a commitment represented by the the hierophant so i'm getting very strongly here that we are connecting cancer with someone who um, who likes being single who likes uh, it might be a case that this is like a casual connection this is someone who's protecting their independence uh, to the point of pushing people away because they don't want to have a higher level of commitment or just commitment in general i need to be perfectly honest because this is what i am seeing with the fool this is someone again who can be very immature very childish a bit of a player energy and who always is like on a quest in a bracket you know it's they are there they are here with the fool it's like a new beginning this person is like in like at the beginning of their journey but with the nine of pentacles this is someone who likes their independence this is very self-sufficient very kind of in self-sufficient and energy of independence and this is with the seven of wands it's like they're protecting this this freedom right this freedom that they have this is someone who at the moment i feel they don't want to have a higher level of commitment or like a commitment represented by the hierophant being in a relationship three of cups it's uh, it's an energy again of parties you know spending time with friends this is something that they are now focusing on however to be perfectly honest i don't feel this person being particularly happy with this energy we have a nine of nine of swords it is it looks like we are dealing with someone who might be quite popular with people might have friends but at the end of the day they feel very very lonely and with the nine of swords it's like this person is stressing out they are stressing out mm -hmm. i'm getting an energy of <laughs> liking their day lifestyle with the three of cups friends or habits that independence the, the independence is very very visible here yeah but you know at the same time this person also is thinking about about you know overall about commitment because it might be a case here cancer that you are dealing uh, with someone who doesn't want to ex accept that you know that they are getting older you know or you know that they should settle down they like being independent you know when it comes to love or even many areas of their life and it, and here is the thing <laughs> that they they seems to be quite defensive when it comes to you know relationships therefore it might be a case that you had a conversation for instance let's say right with this person and you start talking about relationship commitment and this person immediately start being kind of you know they, they might have said something that pushed you away this is someone who is like protecting they being independent or kind of single or acting in a kind of single way it's like a it's like a safety net for them because of the previous um previous experiences when it comes to love this person ha has been very very disappointed in a previous relationship hmm. yeah 
However, what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is that this person, um, they are losing sleep actually, you know, over you. Because as much as they like the Three of Cups, right? Celebration, friends, parties, whatever the case might be, what makes them happy, but that involves a certain lifestyle, the Three of Cups in that kind of dynamic of cards. Next to the Nine of Swords and Ace of Swords, sorry, Ace of Cups, I, I, I'm getting here very strongly, Cancer, that this person... Um, sees you as a catch and they don't want to lose an opportunity with you you know because ace of cups is this opportunity for emotional fulfillment in your beginning in love they are stressing out and what is happening they are at the crossroads mm -hmm. they are at the crossroads because <laughs> this you know they can't have their cake and eat it too right they do, I feel this is someone who has feelings for you. They are very, very interested in you, but uh, it's, it's, it's playing on their mind here, Cancer. If that's indeed your story, you know exactly what, what I'm talking about. It's like this, 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 it's playing on their mind. It's not that they don't care. And they, do, they just want a casual relationship. I feel, yes, indeed, this person is very defensive. At the moment, they, they might not want, like, a commitment. But something here is, you know, playing on this person's mind. They are stressing out. Because deeply inside, I feel this person wants relationship. Or new beginning in love with you. You know? but they have to make a choice and with the two of swords it's like a being at the crossroads what am i supposed to do overall energy for this person is ace of wands action this is someone who finds you incredibly attractive so i'm dealing here with quite i mean i am <laughs> We are dealing here with someone who might be quite complex, who might actually not know exactly what they truly want because we have energy all over the place here. What I am certain is that this person can be de very defensive. They, they can have a tendency pushing people away, you know. But um, I feel this is someone who doesn't want to lose an opportunity. For a new beginning in love with you let's see this person's feelings for cancer could you please show this person's feelings for cancer we have strength you might be dealing with leo this person's feelings for cancer what is the side message here we have the hermit we have the world oh wow okay we have the four of uh, wands and a six of uh, swords. So you might be dealing with Virgo. I also have a fixed energy with the world. So we have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Hmm. And this is what I was getting. This person, it's... it's they are thinking about you you know they are thinking about this connection and with the world there is it's like a higher understanding when they are by their own this person understands that certain things has to change and with the world the the change is like a, they they need to um this person has to close certain cycle and i feel it is a lot to do with their lifestyle and also mindset when it comes to relationship because a six of sorts is like walking away and you know based on logic it's like this is the right thing to do but walking away from a certain mindset this is someone who uh, who understands this because the hermit is here this person has knowledge you know, experience, wisdom when it comes to, I feel in general life, 
but they are thinking about changing, about closing certain cycle in their life. It can be a you know habit, lifestyle, to detach from it, in order to be in a relationship with the four of wands. This is someone who wants to, who is thinking to be in a relationship. But it's like defense mechanism at the moment is very, very strong. But when they are by their own, it's different. It's like they are, because hermit also in a reading cancer can represent spirit. This person, it's, it's, it's guided by the spirit. And, and I feel with the world, they possess this higher understanding that, you know, Maybe it's the right time for me to kind of make a significant change here. Because at the end of the day, this is someone who wants relationship. They might feel that, you know, they are not ready or they like their independence. But deeply inside, they don't want to be alone. Or they don't want to be in this Peter Pan kind of dynamic energy. So we have strength. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards cancer, please? This person's feelings towards cancer, please. Thank you. We have two of wands. Hmm. This is someone who is incredibly attracted to you, Cancer, with the strength. They found you very, very attractive. And we have five of cups. Mm -hmm. This is someone who doesn't want to lose an opportunity in love with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In their feelings, Cancer, <laughs> this is someone who has to make a decision, uh, especially with the Two of Wands. I feel that at the moment they are thinking, they are planning here, they find you incredibly attractive. But this person has to kind of detach from this past energy. And I feel that they still hold some sort of kind of sadness when it comes to something that happened in the past. And because of that unhealed emotion, they can, most certainly, they, uh, they have a tendency to project this energy on this connection or this situation. I feel... You know, it's it's like um, this person really wants to do something, but 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 with this five of cups, it's it's like this person is stuck in a in a in a past mindset, something to do with past. It's like they are stuck in a past, and they know that it doesn't serve them, but they do find you incredibly attractive. They they feel actually very strong bond that you have both uh, you know with each other but they, they do need to change their mindset because i'm getting this person is aware of that that they are projecting those insecurities or this past unhealed trauma so or, or this massive disappointment that that might have occurred in in their life on this connection or this situation they are thinking about it they are thinking about you with the two of wands, but they need to make a decision. And the decision is, you know, are they going to focus on you? Or are they going to be stuck in the past? Because past makes them unhappy, makes them sad, makes them just disappointed. So this, this obviously doesn't serve this person. It's, it's, it's not beneficial for them and for this situation. But they do feel a very strong bond with you. 
that they feel that they share a very strong bond with you cancer let's see let's see how this person sees you how this person sees you cancer oh wow we have a four of swords we have the temperance you might be dealing with sagittarius and we have two of cups this person sees you very grounded someone who has so much love to give someone who brings a lot to the table it's like you have a calming effect on them you know with the temperance with the four of swords this person sees you um it might be a case that they feel that you don't trust them or at the moment you are a little bit you know you took a step back with the four of swords you know something like this it's showing up here I feel this, you know, this person sees you as, as someone with the two of cups as, as, a, as a, someone who can create a beautiful relationship. This person sees you as, a, as someone who, with whom they can create a beautiful relationship based on mutual love with the two of cups. But I feel they are aware it might be a case that they said something here or they acted in a certain way because they see you at the moment in this four of swords energy as someone who took who took step back and it's kind of distance you know created a distance or is distant is distant in general and i feel it is something to do maybe with the conversation you had with them Maybe you've just said simply, you know, do you want a relationship? Do you want to take this connection into the next level? Maybe you gave this person an ultimatum because that might be a case here and they just reacted in this very immature way. And they see you now as kind of, you know, oh, uh, cancer took a step back. Step back. They, they, they wanted a relationship with me. I see them as... As, as a person with whom I can create a beautiful connection, but my insecurities uh, got better of me, right? This is how they can, they can get, they can kind of uh, see this situation. But in general, cancer, this person sees you as someone with whom they can create a beautiful relationship. So let's see the outcome. what we have here as a, as a side message we have the death card we have a nine of wands and we have a three of wands yes this person has to change the they need to change their attitude you might be dealing with scorpio this is someone who has a very they have their guard up it's very difficult to kind of break a certain barrier that they created this is someone who is shielding their heart themselves because they don't want to be hurt again but this is something that has to change, especially with this energy. In order to have expansion with the Three of and growth with the Three of Wands. Let's see. Let's see. Could you please show the outcome for the immediate future? So we have the Hermit, a Virgo energy. Could you please show me the, the outcome for the immediate future? Ooh, six of cups. And we have magician. It might be a case, actually, Cancer, that at the moment there is a no contact situation between the two of you. You know, you took you took a step back. You've kind of withdraw your energy. This person here is showing up in this hermit energy as well. We have a free off pentacles at the bottom of the deck okay you might be dealing also cancer with with gemini cancer um if indeed there is no contact situation i feel that this person uh will reach out with the six of cups they will kind of you know 
uh, make an effort to to send you a message or to talk with you to to ask you out to some so they they want they they are manifesting you here and in your outcome we have the magician we have the six of cups so something here will change and will change for the better because again six of cups this is this kind of energy of kind of mutual understanding it's like this person it might be a case cancer that you have this you know like a uh, telepathic tele tele telepathic <laughs> telepathic um, connection understanding you know like a telepathy right that you kind of you think about them and suddenly they sending you a message or you've heard a song and someone mentioned this person name you know it's like a this connection that cannot be explained. This person will reach out if if there is indeed a no contact situation between the two of you because you had a conversation with them and you know you express your concerns or you express you actually you know you said what you truly want or and you've asked asked them to kind of decide what they truly want. Um, and that kind of result in not being, you know, having a break or with no contact situation, uh, you can be reassured that this person will reach out because they do want to, re they do want this reunion or they want to kind of show that they care. And with the magician, I feel this person will do a lot, actually, to kind of uh, show you that they care because with the six of cups I feel this is someone who cares but they have very strong defense mechanism it's like I don't want commitment at the moment but at the same time I don't want to lose an opportunity with cancer you know this is someone who has to kind of figure out what they truly want and I'm getting here that they, um, what I'm seeing here, the person who will kind of, uh, after a period of, you know, no contact or something of this kind, will reach out and say, listen, I care for you. I do. I do want to, you know, be a team player. I do want to ask to, th they will say something or they will kind of let you know that they do want to work on this situation you know because they do have feelings for you with the six of cups this is this is kind of a yeah they care it's not that this person doesn't care they are aware <laughs> that you know you are a perfect person for them to create a beautiful relationship and this person is aware of that but they need to kind of decide what they truly want i see however cancer i have to say that with the hermit at the beginning of the outcome i feel that this person will know for the immediate future i don't feel that they will reach out immediately let's say it that way and we are talking about three days four days i don't see them making that kind of move because we have very solitude energy this is someone who who, 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 this is like a, so, yeah, they've gone quiet here with the hermit, but they will, we, because next to it, we have a six of cups, which is a major energy of reunion, reconciliation, reaching out. And with the magician, it's like a, they're trying to manifest you. So they will do, they will make this move. And I feel that there will be a very productive conversation between the two of you. So you can expect that this person will reach out to you, Cancer, but it might not happen during, you know, like immediately during the next three days, four days. But they will, they will. You have, if there is a no contact situation, indeed, you can be reassured that this person will make an effort here to kind of let you know that they care because they do Based on this reading, it looks that they truly, truly do. However, they need to figure out what they truly want. 
and they also have to change the attitude because that attitude uh, will not bring them you know fulfillment when it comes to this particular situation i don't feel because i i i already see you kind of a you know you i this person knows exactly what you want and the fact that you are showing up in a four of swords is like you are taking you withdrawing your energy you know and it might be a case for some of you here that you just had a conversation and and you want this person to to give you clarity where you stand with them nevertheless i strongly feel here cancer that uh, this person will will reach out because they do want to kind of uh, tell you or make you feel that they care with the six of cups and they want to work on this situation cancer i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly 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 appreciate you cancer have a fantastic and fabulous day and once again thank you very much for being with me take care bye